When I was little, I had the normal little kid. You know, I'm gonna be a veterinarian. I'm gonna, I'm kind of weird. So I had a herpetologist phase and um, was really interested in medicine from early on. And as I got sort of more into school, I think it was, I guess it was middle school, um, my mom actually brought me to the College of Engineering E-Week Engineering Fair. You know, there were these huge bridges, the concrete canoe, there were all kinds of robots running around, um, and it was a really big event, and I actually don't remember this, but my mom says I came home from that day and just had that aha moment where I was like, I'm good at science, and I'm good at math, and I like building stuff, and I'm creative, and I'm going to be an engineer, you know, and I had that moment at 12 or whatever it was, and so I decided on engineering very early on, in large part due to UF College of Engineering influence. One of the things that I really focus on with my lab is recreating elements of the body, not with the intent to replace the body, but with the intent to learn much better, more powerful information about the body. So if you're studying the heart, why not study heart cells in an environment that's beating like the heart instead of a boring, static, plastic petri dish, right? Like, let's make an environment that looks like the heart to study heart cells. Like, to me, that it seems it makes a lot of sense, right? We don't, we don't need to build something that acts like the heart to replace the heart. We can build something that acts like the heart to learn and understand how to get the heart to fix itself.